So in this video, we are going to learn how to add Fluidesk subscriber in different segment on Teachable course enrollment. Now let's say you are using Teachable as a LMS platform where you are selling some kind of online courses and you are using Flowdesk as an email marketing platform. And in Flowdesk, you have created different segments for subscriber for each and every course you have in Teachable. Let's say you have five courses in your Teachable account and for all of those five courses, you have created five different segments in Flowdesk. So every time a new student enroll into a specific course in Teachable, for example, let's say you have a PHP course and a student enroll in the PHP course in your Teachable account, you want to add that same student as a subscriber in Flowdesk and want to add that subscriber for the segment named as PHP course in your Flowdesk account too. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this complete process with the help of Pavli Connect. So we are going to set up an automation in such a way that whenever a new enrollment is going to happen in our Teachable account, automatically we are going to add that student from Teachable as a subscriber in Flowdesk. Also, we are going to add this Flowdesk subscriber into a specific segment in our Flowdesk account on the basis of what course they have enrolled in in Teachable. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as teachable to flow desk and then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is, first we are going to connect our Teachable account with Pavli Connect in the trigger window. So that every time a new user, a new student gets enrolled into a course in our Teachable account, automatically the details of that newly enrolled user will be received inside Pavli Connect. And this automation workflow will trigger. Then after that, we are going to send the details of that newly enrolled user using this automation to Flowdesk so that we can add that user as a subscriber in Flowdesk. And also in our Flowdesk account, we have created different segments for different courses. For example, if the user subscribe or enrolls into the PHP course in my Teachable account, then I want that I want that user to be added to this particular segment named as PHP course in my Flowdesk account. If the user, if the subscriber or if the student enrolled for Java course, then I want to add that student into the Java course segment in my Flowdesk account. So in this way, we will be adding the subscribers, adding the users in our Flowdesk account on the basis of which course they are enrolling into in our Teachable account. So let's see how it is done. It's a very simple process. Starting from our trigger window in Choose app, search for Teachable. Just select it. After selecting Teachable in Trigger Event from the drop-down, select the Trigger Event as New Enrollment over here. Now after selecting a Trigger Event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Teachable account with Pavli Connect. So what we are going to do, we will just copy this webhook URL from here and follow the help text given below over here. Now to add this webhook URL into a Teachable account, just go to the dashboard of your Teachable account. From the left sidebar, go to settings and under settings, here you can see webhooks over here. Just click on webhooks. After coming to this webhook section, here you can see a webhook which I have already added in my Teachable account. To add a new one, click on this add webhook button and then paste this webhook URL over here. Then it is asking us for the webhook event that for which particular event we want Teachable to send the data to Pavli Connect. So here in the drop down, you can see two options, all events and custom. Now we want Teachable to send the details of the users or the students who are enrolled into a course. We only want that particular data. So we will go to custom and after selecting custom, here you can see a list of different events. Out of all of this, we are going to select new enrollment as the event. 
and we are telling Teachable that whenever a new enrollment happens in our Teachable school, the details of that enrollment should be sent to Pabli Connect. Then after that, just scroll down and here in this option of Webhook Payload Settings, just turn this button to the right side, just switch it on and click on Save. And as we click on Save, we will see this Webhook URL is now added in our Teachable account and our Teachable account will get connected with Pabli Connect over here. Now, every time we are going to receive a new enrollment, a new enrollment is going to happen in Teachable. Automatically, the details of that enrollment will be received inside Pabli Connect. And here in our Pabli Connect workflow, it is showing us waiting for webhook response. This means Pabli Connect is waiting to get some details of a new enrollment from Teachable. So what we are going to do, we are going to make the same thing. We will be enrolling a new user in our Teachable account. So I will just copy the link of my Teachable school and we will go to the incognito tab. And here I'll just paste the my school link. So this is my Teachable school. Let's select this course of PHP for beginners. So this is the course in which I will be enrolling a new user. Just go to enroll now and then it will take you to the checkout page. So right now this particular course is a free course. That's why it has directly brought me to the sign up page. But if you are selling some kind of paid courses or paid downloadables in Teachable, in that case, it will take you to the checkout page and after making the payment, the user will be enrolled. Now, because it's a free course, we are here on the sign up page. So what we are going to do, we will be entering the details of a dummy user. So the name of the student is test user. This is the email address of the student who is going to enroll into a course. And this is the password. After entering the password, just select yes option over here. And then just click on sign up. Now, as we click on sign up, using these details, a new user has signed up on our Teachable school. And after this, also that same user has enrolled into this particular course. Let's click on the start your course button. And here you can see this new user has been enrolled into a course in our Teachable account. Now, because we have connected our Teachable account with Pabli Connect, we will see in our Pabli Connect workflow, here you can see that we have just now received a new response. And in this response, you can see we have received this response for an event named as enrollment created. So as the new user, a new student has enrolled in our Teachable account, the details of that enrollment has been received inside Pabli Connect. And in this response, you can see all the details of this enrollment. So we will just scroll down and here you can see the name of the person, the name of the student who has been enrolled, test user. We will scroll down further and you can see other details like the date and time that at what date and time the student has been enrolled. We will scroll down further. You can see the email address of the student, test at the rate publitudes.com. Then we'll scroll down and here you can see the name of the course as well. So here is the name of the course for which the student has been enrolled. So in this way, whenever a new enrollment is going to happen in our Teachable account or Teachable school, automatically the details of that enrollment will be received inside Pabli Connect. So the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now let's move to step two. In step two, we want to add this user, we want to add this new student as a subscriber in Flowdesk. For that, we will just scroll down, come to this action window and here in Choose app, we are going to search for Flowdesk. Just select it. After selecting Flowdesk in Action Event from the drop down, select the Action Event as Create Slash Update Subscriber. So using this Action Event of Create or Update Subscriber, if we have the student already in our Flowdesk account, then we are going to update the details of that student. Or if we don't have that student as a subscriber in Flowdesk, in that case, we will be creating a new one. So after selecting this action event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Flowdesk account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Flowdesk button. After clicking on it, here it opens up a new tab and here we just have to enter the login credentials of our Flowdesk account. After entering the email address and password, the login credentials, just click on this sign in button. And as we click on sign in, we have signed in to our Flowdesk account. Now just click on allow over here where it is asking us for the permission. And after clicking on allow, we can see that our Flowdesk account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the field. So here in the drop down, we have two different options of field, email and subscriber ID. 
So we are going to select the field as email because we have the email address of the new students and using the email address only, we want to search for the existing students or create a new one. After selecting email as the field, it is asking us for the field value. So here, what will be the email address of the new subscriber, which we are creating in Flowdesk. So we have received the email address of the new student of the new enrolled student from our teachable account. So here in the trigger window in the response, you can see that we have received the email address of the student and we have to map this response of same email address from this trigger step to this action step over here. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received of a new enrollment from Teachable in the trigger step. You can see the name and all the other details. So out of all of these details, we are going to select this response of email and it will be mapped. So whatever email address the student is going to enter while enrolling into the course, the same email address will be received inside Pavli Connect and using the same email, we are going to add that student as a subscriber in Flowdesk. After mapping the email address, it is asking us for the first name and the last name. Now here guys from Teachable while receiving the details of the user, we have received the name of the person over here. But the name of the person which we have received is basically the full name over here. We haven't received the separate response of first name and last name over here. So what we have to do, we have to basically break this full name into two parts. We have to split this name into two parts of first name and last name. And we have to get the separate response for both of them. And to do this, we will be using a feature, a module of Pavli Connect that is called text formatter. Just scroll down and before this flow desk step, just click on this add action step button over here. Now after clicking on add action step here in choose app, search for text formatter. Just select it. And after selecting text formatter by Pavli in action event from the drop down, select the action event as split text. Then just click on connect. After clicking on connect, the first thing it asks us is text to split. That what is the text? What is the response to whom we want to split into multiple parts or two parts? So we want to split this text or response of name of the subscriber of name of the user. So we are going to map this response of the username of the student name over here in this text to split field. Just click here and from the drop down from teachable responses, select this response of name. So we have successfully mapped the full name. Then it is asking us for the separator. Now we have the separator as space. We have a space between the first name and last name. And on the basis of space, we want to split this name into two parts. So we will be using space as a separator over here. We are going to add space in double curly braces. And here in segment index from the drop down, select all and click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on events and test request here, you can see that we have received a response. And in this response, you can see we have basically separated this response of full name into two different responses of first name and last name. Now, after splitting the name into two parts, what we can do, we can map this responses of first name and last name over here in this Flowdesk step. But before doing that, because we have added a new step, because we have added some new data before this flow desk create update subscriber action step, just click on this refresh fields button once. Now after clicking on it, once again, we'll scroll down and click on this first name. Just click here. And now in the drop down, you can see, we can see the responses of previous two steps, the teachable step and also the text formatter step. So from the text formatter, select and map the response of first name and last name into their respective fields. After doing this, it is asking us send opt-in confirmation email to subscriber. So if you want to send the opt-in confirmation emails to the subscriber, this newly added subscriber in your Flowdesk account, you can select yes over here. Now, if you select yes, guys, before doing that, you just have to ensure that you have the proper opt-in settings in your Flowdesk account. Just go to your Flowdesk account from the right sidebar. Just go to profile and go to opt in setup. After coming here, just make sure that you have created a proper email address, a proper thank you page and a preference page in your Flowdesk account. Because after selecting yes, whenever a new subscriber will be added in Flowdesk, automatically these emails will be sent. The double opt in email will be sent to the same subscriber from our Flowdesk account. 
So if you're selecting yes as an opt-in confirmation, then just make sure that you have the proper opt-in settings in your Flowdesk account. Right now, I don't want to send the opt-in confirmation, so I will be selecting no over here. Then it is asking us for the mobile number and company. So the field of mobile number and company are not mandatory, are not required. So we can ignore these details because we haven't received the mobile number and the company of the user from Teachable. And then just click on save and send test request. And after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the user whose details we have mapped over here. Basically, the user, the student who has just now enrolled into a course in our Teachable account, this same student, this same user has been added as a subscriber in our Flowdesk account now. So we'll just go to our Flowdesk account. We will go to the subscriber section over here, audience. And yes, here you can see that test user, the same student who has just now enrolled into a course in our Teachable account, that student has been now added as a subscriber with the same email address in our Flowdesk account. So guys, the step two of setting up this automation is also completed. We have successfully added the new student enrolled in our Teachable course as a subscriber in Flowdesk. Now let's move to the third and the final step. So in the final step, what we wanted to do we want to add this subscriber into a specific segment in our Flowdesk account. And here guys, the segment of the subscriber will be decided by what course the student is going to enroll into. So the student, if the student has enrolled into the PHP course, then we are going to add that student as a subscriber into this PHP course segment in our Flowdesk account. If the student opt for or enroll into the Java course, then we are going to add that subscriber into the Java course in our Flowdesk account. So basically what we have, we have different routes, different branches in our automation workflow now. And to add or set up these kind of different routes or different branches in our automation workflow, we will be using a feature of Pavli Connect that is called Router. Just click on this Add Action Step button. And then here in Choose App, select Router over here. After selecting Router by Pabli, here you can see that by default, it has created two different routes. But if you want, you can click on this Add Route button and add as many routes as you want in your automation workflow. So in this video, we are just taking example of two different courses in Teachable and two different segments in Flowdesk over here. But you can basically use same process to add as many courses from Teachable and add as many segments in your Flowdesk account. So what we are going to do, we are going to set up two different routes over here. If the user, if the student has enrolled into the PHP course, then the automation workflow will be executed using route one. And then we are going to add that subscriber into the PHP course segment in Flowdesk. If the student has subscribed or enrolled into the Java course, in that case, the automation workflow will be executed using route 2. And we will be adding that subscriber into the Java course segment in our Flowdesk account. In this way, you can set up this kind of logics, this kind of routes for as many courses and segments in Flowdesk as you want. There is no limit on adding routes in your automation workflow. So let me first rename these router steps. So first one is the PHP course. So if the user or the student enrolls into the PHP course, then this automation workflow will be executed using this route. Now after naming it, just click on this set filter and action step button. Now after clicking on it, the first thing it asks us is the filter. That what is the filter condition? How this automation workflow is going to decide that whether the automation should be continued using this route or not. So we are setting up this route for the PHP course. And in the responses of new enrollment from Teachable, here you can see under select label, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Teachable, Text Formatter and Flowdesk. So from Teachable responses, we have received the response, the name of the course which the student has enrolled into. So here you can see that in the course name section, we will just get for the name of the course. Here it is. So we are going to set up a filter on this response. We are going to select this label object course name over here in this select label section. The filter type will be equals to and the value will be the exact same name of the course. We have to enter PHP course, sorry, PHP for beginners. 
so this is the name of the course which we have enrolled into which in which the student has enrolled now if we get the response of course name equals to this then in that case this automation workflow will be executed for them so what you have to do you just have to manually enter the name of the course for which you are setting up this route in value section and in select label you have to select this label of course name now if we get the response of php for beginners as the course name from teachable of new enrollment then this automation workflow will be executed using this route it will continue using this route and then just click on save and send test request now because we have captured the response of course enrollment for the same course here it is going to give us the condition as true so now if the condition is true the automation will be continued using this route so if the subscriber or the student has enrolled into the php course php for beginners course in our teachable account then using this route this automation will be continued now after this just click on this add action step button and now we are going to add the subscriber which we have just now created in flowdesk into a particular segment so we are just going to select for flowdesk over here once again and after selecting flowdesk in action event from the drop down select the action event as add existing subscriber to segment then just click on connect now because we have connected our flowdesk account in the previous step with public connect we don't have to make a new connection you can select the existing connection and click on save after clicking on save the first thing it asks us is subscriber email or what that what is the email address of the subscriber to whom we want to add into a segment in flowdesk so we will just click here and in the drop down you can see after creating the subscriber in flowdesk we have received this response and in this response you can see the email address of this newly added subscriber and we want to add this particular subscriber this particular user who has just now enrolled into a course in the segment as well so we are going to select and map the email address of the subscriber from there then it is asking us for select segment and in the drop down you can see a list of all the segments which we have created in our flowdesk account can be seen over here so using this route in which particular segment we want to add this subscriber so we have to select that segment over here so we are setting up this route for the php course and i want to add this subscriber into this php course segment so i have selected that particular segment over here now if you want you can basically select multiple segment as well using the same action event you can add a subscriber in multiple segments as well so we have selected our desired segment as well just click on save and send test request and after clicking on save and send test request here you can see that we will be receiving some response over here and in this response you can see the details of the same subscriber and this response shows that this subscriber has been added to a segment named as php course which we have selected over here so let's check it we will go to this particular segment in our flowdesk account that is php course and yes guys here you can see that the same student who has been enrolled for this particular course in our teachable account the same student has been added as a subscriber using this automation and also we have added that subscriber into a specific segment in our flowdesk account so this in this way we have successfully created the first route now what we have to do we have to follow the similar process similar step for route 2 as well so instead of creating a new one what we can do we can clone our first route which we have created over here and after cloning it let's rename this route as well so this is the java course and click on update let me delete the extra route so if the customer or the student enroll for the php course the automation will be continued using this route now we are going to set up similar condition for java course just click on this set filter and action step button and here in this filter section in value of php course for beginners we have to enter java course over here and we have to enter basically the exact same course name which we have in teachable so i will just go to my teachable account and go to courses section and the name of my java course is basic java so we have to enter the exact same name basic java and then just click on save and send test request now because we have captured the response for the course of php it is going to give us the condition as false because while capturing the response in our trigger window we have captured the response for the php course and it is not equals to the basic java for sure so that's why it is going to give us the condition is false so if the student or if the user is been enrolled to some other course than java 
then in that case, this automation will not be continued using this route. Then after this, we will scroll down, we'll just come to this flow desk action step of add existing subscriber to segment. Click on this connected button and we will be just reconnecting our account. Select the existing connection and click on save. After clicking on save, what we have to do, we just have to change the segment over here. So using this route, because we want to add the subscriber into the Java course segment. So from the drop down, we are going to unselect the PHP course and select the Java course over here and then just click on save. In this way, we have successfully created this automation workflow guys. And using this automation, whenever a new enrollment is going to happen in our Teachable account, automatically the student who has been enrolled will be added as a subscriber in Flowdesk. And also we are going to add that Flowdesk subscriber into a specific segment based on what course the user has been enrolled. And the automation workflow setup is completed. Now, after setting up this automation, guys, what we are going to do, we are going to test this automation. And to test it, we are going to add or enroll another test user, another dummy user in our Teachable School. So we will just visit our Teachable School one more time in an incognito tab. Then this time, let's select this basic Java course. And this user, this dummy user, this time is going to enroll into this course. Let's click on enroll now and enter the details of the user. For example, the name of the person is dummy test. This is the name of the person. This is the email address. And this is the password. After this, let's select yes and click on sign up over here. So just now dummy test, this user has been enrolled in our teachable school. So because it was another free course, that's why we have directly enrolled. But if it case it was a paid course, then after making the payment, the user will be successfully enrolled into this course of basic Java. We will go to a teachable account and we'll go to this courses section. And then just go to students. Under student section, guys, we will see this same user who has just now enrolled can be seen. So dummy test, this user can be seen over here has been successfully enrolled in this course. Now, because we have created this automation, as a new student is enrolled into a course in our Teachable account, automatically the same student will be added as a subscriber in Flowdesk. So we will go to a Flowdesk account. We will go to all subscriber section. And yes, dummy test, the same student can be seen as a subscriber in our Flowdesk account. Also guys, we are going to add this subscriber in Flowdesk into a specific segment of that course in which they have been enrolled. So we will go to segment and we will go to the Java course segment over here. And yes, here you can see that in this Java course segment, the same subscriber, the same student has been added as well, the B test. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video, it is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever we are going to receive a new enrollment of a student in our teachable course, automatically the same student will be added as a subscriber in our Flowdesk account. And also we are going to add that subscriber into the segment of that particular course, which we have created in Flowdesk. Now here guys, not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this exact same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestions and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.